Welcome. Another Super Six on Back of the Net. And it's all change in the league table this week. And the cross by Heffernan. And was that a foul? It's a goal anyway from Funnel. From Funnel. From Funnel. And if that didn't give it away, I'm here again with my friend Tony Funnel. Hey, you're Tony. Here I am. Yes, evening. How you doing, mate? You okay? I'm great. Yeah, ta. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, have you had a nice week? Uh, Monday golf. Lovely. That was like that was that was me trying to trying to hold a golf club, Tony. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> it's like a cricket bat, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday yeah. golf again. Ah, oh, fantastic. That time this time with Harry. Oh, lovely. Yeah, we had another game and golf today. <laughs> Wow. So, uh, as I'm recording this now with you, we've got, we've got lockdown rules coming in, new ones. Is it affecting your golf club at all? Do you know what the situation is with them? Well, there's no golf. Oh, man. Full stop. Yeah. They can't keep that up a whole month, though, can they? Surely they, they've got to. I mean, that's yeah. a good. You don't, you don't come close contact with people when you play golf, no, do you? No, no. One, one hits it one side of the ferry, usually the other one hits it the other side. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then you both got to go look for it, haven't you? That's, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I'll see, I'll see you later on, mate. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, um, I can't do much about that, but um, we can have a little go and uh, see what the league table's like this week. Do you fancy that? Yeah, let's have a look. There's some shocks in there this week. So uh, let's have a little look and see what's going on with our Super 6 League. In fifth this week is last week's leader, Naomi Jenkins, who missed her predictions this round. Number four, I taught I tore a Purdy cat. I did, I did, it's Andrew Purdy. At number three, we've got a new entry. It's Colin Stevenson. Let's see how he gets on. At number two, joy to the division. Another big climber in Lewis Curtis. And at number one, he climbs the mountain to the top, his head aloft, his arms are wide, and he proclaims himself King of the World! It's Nigel Little. Well, Tony, I mean, that's pretty shocking changes there in the league. Uh, what, what, what can we say? All I can say is I did my bit. You did your bit, yeah. I texted yeah. the family and said, there's a Super 6 on Tuesday. And they, uh, they, some of them still forgot. That is dreadful, isn't it? That is dreadful. And after you've you've put the effort in, and they still forgot. What can we say? Well, do you think though, Tony? You know, Naomi's been excellent so far. Do you think there is a chance that she can move back up the table? Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Good. Okay. Okay. Because I think Nigel Little actually, I think he's been at the top before, so I think he's he's going to be hanging on with his fingernails. So he doesn't want to lose it oh. again. So he's going to take some beating. But uh, we'll have a little look now and see what this week we've got going on. So let's have a little look at that. Here we go. So here is uh, the Super 6 for this week. And we're going to put our predictions in. Um, let's see. So the first game we've got, Tony, is we've actually got Palace versus Leeds. Now, these two have had really kind of uh, fluctuating form. They haven't uh, been able to string anything together. But they are two wily managers who've been doing this job for a while, what do you think might happen? Yeah, I think both teams will score in the game and I think it's going to be 3-1 to Leeds. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's it. 3-1 to Leeds. Okay. Good. Okay, uh, next game we've got Norwich versus Swansea. Now, these two teams are both in good form uh, and they're surely pushing, pushing for promotion. Norwich are more than just pooky, aren't they, we found? Yes, yeah. But I think I'm going to go for a, a one-all draw in this game. Okay, I like that. A one-all draw. That's good. Now we're going to make our way down here. Oh, look at that. Watford versus Coventry. Now, Watford losing to Barnsley was quite the shock last week. Uh, but Coventry beating Reading, that was quite the shock as well, wasn't it, Tony? That was a shock, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm unsure on this game. I think I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. 1-1, one, one, I like it. i got a feeling there's going to be draws this week. It's a lot of draws in the Championship, I've noticed. Uh, and then, Tony, Birmingham versus AFC Bournemouth. Now, Bournemouth uh, didn't have a great game uh, in the last one. They lost their unbeaten record. They've, you know, they, they were unbeaten for the, since the beginning of the season. But, Tony, that's interesting because, of course, you, your team, used to hold that unbeaten record, or still do now. Yes, yeah. Um, well, you, you told me this, actually, and I think you said it was 
18 games unbeaten. Yeah. Um, and I must admit, you said to me, you know, how do you feel about it uh, if Bournemouth could beat the record? And to be honest, I would have been happy for Bournemouth to beat the record. Um, but at the same time, I'd rather them set their own record mm. of the most record for wins. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Because I think now you've got three points for a win, it's more important, obviously, to get a win. And uh, also, I think you find, I had a little look, we drew too many games. Yeah, you did draw a lot, didn't you, that season? Yeah, we um, we were strong defensively and we were well organised. And, you know, it was a good unbeaten run. But I think, I think I, I did check, we, we conceded the least amount of goals of any team. Okay. But we were one of the lowest scorers. Right. We didn't score in enough, you know, enough games. And like Sheffield United, they um, they won the championship and uh, they won more games than we did and they scored a lot more goals than we did. Interesting. Interesting. So That's that, unbeaten, I would say unbeaten runs are great. Yeah. But you've got to get the wins. You've got to be winning during them, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think Bournemouth might get a lot of draws this season. So what are you going to go for on this one then, Tony? I have gone for Birmingham 1, Bournemouth 2. Right, we're down a little bit now. and We've got here Brentford versus Middlesbrough. Now, Ivan Tony, that guy is on fire. He just scores, scores and scores. I think he's got seven goals in the last six games. Uh, but Borough... They're unbeaten in the last six games. So what do you think might happen here, Tony? No, they don't give a lot away, Middlesbrough. No, they don't. Um, but I like Brentford going forward. So I'm going to go 2-1 Brentford. Yeah, I like that. 2-1 Tony. I know. Yeah. You don't usually get this far down here, do we, before we get that one out. That's, uh, that's incredible. Uh, and then we've got the last game here. We've got Derby uh, against Barnsley. Now, this league is crazy, Tony, and I... I've been thinking about this game and I can't work out what's going to happen. You've got two get two teams. They can't string wins, losses or draws together. They, they keep changing. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. What, what do you think? Well, actually, I did have a look and Derby can string things together because they've drawn one all three times. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going for one all in this game. Nice, one all. That's brilliant. Okay, and now we're going to move uh, down the little bottom here and we're going to have a look and see what we've got. We've got our golden goal prediction. What are you going to go for, Tony? Yeah, I'm going for five. Five. That's my lucky number, that, Tony. Yeah, I know. I did remember that. He yeah. told me a few weeks ago. <laughs> he didn't know. Uh, and we're going to go head to head with Jeff. We'll challenge Jeff. We'll give it a go. Um, and we're going to submit our entry. Look at that. And, Tony, will you be doing the, uh, the old Sunday... Uh, yeah, two for six extra or whatever. I didn't do too good last Sunday. Mm, I think I got one right. I had a nightmare on it, but uh, yeah, I find it quite interesting. It's worth doing. Yeah, good. Uh, and if you would like to uh, take part in our video here, we're asking you if you'd like to before the next Saturday game to send us in uh, your own video prediction. You can predict the fixtures coming up, or you can just predict the Bournemouth game for us, and we'll try and squeeze it in somewhere uh, in our Super Six. Super duper. Well, Tony, uh, hopefully we'll be hearing from you later on in the week, will we? Yes, definitely. Yep. Looking forward another, to it. Another flashback coming. Yeah. <laughs> good. Good stuff. Well, that's brilliant. Well, that's uh, okay. Super six done. Hope you get yours in. And don't forget anyone, not mentioning any names. No, okay, that's get, right. get them in. So uh, it's Cheerio from Tony. See you later. All the best. And well, we're both Tony's, don't we? So. We're both Tony's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cheerio from Tony, and it's uh, adios from me.